Let's talk about compressed air leaks. We know they're expensive and wasteful, so why aren't they prioritized? Maybe it's because they're invisible. Maybe because they're impossible to hear over the roar of the factory floor. They don't smell bad and they don't make a mess on the floor. Is it a case of hear no evil, see no evil? Or is it because they don't always have an immediate impact on production? The truth is, compressed air leaks are the silent culprits that cost you tens of thousands to even millions of dollars in energy loss every single year. They quietly drain resources, inflate energy bills, and reduce the efficiency of your pneumatic systems. And we continue to ignore them. Why do leaks matter? Well, compressed air is the lifeblood of modern manufacturing. It's more than just air, it's power. It drives your tools and your automations, and it propels your processes. Compressed air powers pneumatic tools, which are faster, lighter, and often more reliable than their electric counterparts. From assembly lines to robotic arms, compressed air keeps production running smoothly. In today's high-paced manufacturing environment, automation is king. Compressed air plays a critical role in actuating valves, cylinders, and other components that ensure precision and repeatability in automated processes. Unlike some energy sources, compressed air is clean which makes it ideal for industries like food, beverage, pharmaceuticals, and electronics, where contamination is a big, big deal. Whether you're lifting, cutting, spraying, or cooling, compressed air adapts to the tasks at hand, making it one of the most flexible resources in manufacturing. Compressed air is indispensable. It's one of the top three most used utilities in manufacturing worldwide. But did you know it's also one of the most inefficient energy sources out there, especially when left unmanaged? Here's the hard truth. Compressed air generation accounts for about 10% of global industrial energy expenditures. It's a critical utility, but for organizations that haven't prioritized leak management, 30 to 50% of those energy costs are wasted, satisfying the false demand of leaks. It's like throwing money and energy right out the window. And here's the kicker. If your compressed air system isn't inspected at least once a year, it's likely you're contributing to that statistic. But it doesn't have to stay that way. Let's talk about how you could take control, eliminate waste, and make your compressed air system work for you, not against you. When a compressed air leak occurs, high pressure air escapes through an opening into the low pressure environment. As the air accelerates through the leak, it creates friction and vibrations along the edges of the orifice. This friction generates both audible and ultrasonic noise. However, in noisy industrial settings, the audible component is often masked by the low ambient sounds of factory equipment. Both audible and ultrasonic sounds are mechanical vibrations traveling through matter. Ultrasound refers to vibrations at frequencies higher than our human ears can detect. Typically, that's about 20 kilohertz. Since human hearing ranges from approximately 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz or 20,000 hertz, ultrasonic sounds remain inaudible to us. SDT's ultrasound data collectors specialize in identifying these high-frequency noises while filtering out the cacophony of industrial equipment. Once you're on the factory floor, scanning your compressed air system for leaks, the inspection procedure is fairly simple. You begin by sweeping an area at mid-distance using an airborne ultrasonic sensor within at least a 5 to 10 foot range of the air pipes. Set the amplification to max and move the sensor methodically from right to left and top to bottom, listening for the characteristic hissing sound indicative of a leak. As you detect the hissing sound, move the sensor closer with the source to locate the leak. Reduce the amplification of your detector as you approach the precise location of the leak to make it more comfortable to work. 
The leak's exact position corresponds to the point where the signal is stronger, both audibly and on the detector's display. Once the leak is located, consider tagging it for repair. A two-part tagging system can be useful, where one part remains at the leak site and the other is removed with descriptions noted. This ensures accurate identification and facilitates efficient repairs. A full breakdown of SDT's recommended leak inspection procedure can be downloaded for free using the link found in the description. The elimination of leaks is not the only way to optimize the cost of compressed air. The optimization of production and processing are also worthwhile projects. But leaks must be given top priority. The investment required is low. Just two hours are needed to become proficient in the use of an SDT ultrasonic data collector. Searching for leaks is relatively simple, and the savings can be substantial in comparison to other actions aimed at improving system efficiency. If you're interested in optimizing your compressed air system, follow the link below to download our simple four-step leak detection procedure and never ever hesitate to reach out to us for a totally free consultation about utilizing ultrasound for your organization's compressed air leak detection initiative.